What's up everybody, Steve from Flight Brothers here and today I'm doing a review on this Diatone V6 Power Hub PDB and this PDB is your standard mini PDB size so it mounts right along with the flight controller on those four mounting holes on the corners. This particular PDB has a layout that I'm not particularly fond of, although it has some pros and some cons. The reason that I don't like it is because it makes it tough to make your build neat when you have all of the positives on one side and all of the negatives on the other side. It's just a little harder to run the wires the way you want to. Can it be done? Yeah, but it's hard to make it look nice and neat. Now, the pro to this is that when you have them all lined up like that this is typically one long piece of metal connected and when you hook your battery lead up and your four positive ESCs together the signal or the voltage rather can flow freely through that metal and through the solder blobs that usually get connected together and you generally have less issues with your amp draw being a problem. With a lot of the other mini PDBs where the layout is what I prefer with a plus and minus on each corner like the diatone v7 or the v5 your voltage is actually running through traces through the board and because of that there's an amp limit which is typically around 20 amps per side with this you're probably not going to run into as many issues with an amp limit just because you're going to be flowing all of the solder together to get that uh, connection and so you're not really running voltage through traces through the board now this board is also loaded with a 5 volt and a 12 volt switching BC, which are very efficient and for the most part the preferred way of regulating voltage. Uh, on one side you have an LED output which is on a little switch. This is pretty convenient. If you don't want to use the LEDs you can just flip that switch to the side and your LEDs would be off. If you do want to use it, flip it on, your LEDs are on. This is connected, I believe, with the 12 volt BC, but I'm gonna test that in a second. On the other side, very simple. You've got your 12 volt positive and minus coming out over here from the BC, and the five volt positive and negative coming out over here. So you're gonna typically use the five volt to power your flight controller receiver, 12 volt for any 12 volt accessories like your VTX camera, things like that. The only thing I don't like about these is typically these PDBs are kind of buried underneath your flight controller and in the middle of your frame. So having the switch, they're not always very accessible. So something to think about, unless you're gonna mount this in a way, maybe sideways or something like that, where you can reach the switch easily, it's not something you're probably gonna easily be able to use regularly. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna throw a battery lead on here, plus and minus on those two pads there, and check the outputs on the BCs. All right, so I'm back and I've went ahead and soldered my battery leads on there and I've got it plugged into a four cell battery. The battery is charged only about to uh, 15 and a half volts, but it's more than enough to run our tests. So I'm gonna go ahead and check the voltage coming out of the five volt BC. Pretty much a dead on five volts, excellent and swap that around and coming out of the 12 volt BC, 12.26, which is also excellent. Pretty much right on what we're looking for. And I'm gonna go ahead and check out the switch and what's coming out of the LED output. Now on Diatone's website, it claims that's VCC, which is gonna be our battery voltage. So let's see if that's what we wind up with. And nothing with the switch to the right side. I'm gonna go ahead and Flip that, and there we go. So this is a battery voltage out on the LED. So if you are running, most LEDs typically go off of 12 volts. If you're gonna run a four cell and you hook your LEDs up to this output, then you're gonna probably reduce the life of your LEDs a little bit because it's gonna give it the full voltage of your four cell battery. I personally would have rather seen the LED output be on a 12 volt BC, but um, 
unfortunately it's just not that way and that's all right also on hobby uh sorry diatone's website it does say that these outputs are 20 uh, rated for 20 amps each i feel like if you were able to actually flow the solder between the four that uh, that wouldn't be really the case that you'd be able to pull a little bit more than that without worrying and i should note that the becs are rated for two amps output so uh, five volts at two amps 12 volts at two amps which is plenty to power your accessories on your quad so there you go that's uh, my quick review of the diatone v6 pdb Check out my other reviews on our channel and our flight videos. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you do. And we just really appreciate you watching our channel and uh, staying in touch with us. So thank you, and we'll see you next time.